Greetings, Better Nation, and welcome back. On Saturday, we start our 2015 season against the Sam Houston State Bearcats in what would be our 1,000th game. A thousand games. That's pretty impressive, and man, those games just flew right by. Now, this will be the first time in a few years I would not be able to make a Red Raider home game. For being down in Houston, it's just not economical for me to just go up there and watch the game. So it's going to be interesting watching it off the TV. So hopefully I can be there in spirit instead of being there at the game. But anyway. Right. Last season, we all can pretty much admit was pretty bad for us. For we had a horrible turnover rate. Our defense was the worst it has been in a long time, and that that's saying a lot in recent years. And penalties for just everywhere. It was not the best season. But from what I've been hearing so far from reports and just who we got coming to us, I'm expecting some improvement. And honestly, for me, I don't want just a little bit of improvement. I just don't want, hey, 100 letters, we all in the top 100. No. I want a. Stout defense. I want a defense that can actually get the job done and we don't have to get into a shooting match the entire time for that's no fun. Putting all on the offense and having nothing on the defense. For we do have a coach who does have some slight experience in the NFL coming. But he didn't really coach defense in the NFL. I mean, he was a defensive coach, but he wasn't a defensive coordinator. So whether or not that helps us at all remains to be seen. But David Gibbs, the coach, did have some success at University of Houston, which is a school similar to us, so I'm not too worried on how he'll fit into our culture. So, I'm sure he'll be able to help our defense out, even though it's another defensive coordinator, which we go through so many, it's not even funny. Hopefully this one stays and doesn't do anything stupid. So, fingers crossed. And I mean, the push I've been hearing so far, Kingsbury has really turn back the um, cool coach he had the reputation of having last season to be a bit more hard vocal a bit more hard I mean it's not to say he wasn't a hard vocal before but the um, players have been saying it's he's a bit rough a bit more tough this season than just trying to be the friend he's trying to go back to what he was doing in the past more or less is what the players are saying and that's according to a USA Today article, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. I hope it is. But anyway. We did get a few players on defense who would be able to help us, I think. With our best recruit being, um, please forgive me for any mispronunciation of the name. I just don't do well with Hawaiian last names, but... Brendan Fako, Fijeko. I know but it, but he was our best recruit. He was an ESPN top three hundred recruit. I mean, he is a damn, damn good recruit. And having him on defensive tackle is really, really gonna help. Cause we need a defensive line. We need to be able to block that one. Cause that's one thing we've always had trouble with, blocking the one. The opponents just go right through our defensive line and they keep running and running and running. They break through loose tackles, arm tackles, miss tackles, all that stuff. I'm not saying he's going to be perfect, but 
having someone like him on our team is definitely a massive, massive improvement. And another top thing on recruit we got on defense is out of Cliff, South Cliff High School, South Oak Cliff, in Dallas, is um, Jamil Johnson Jr. He's a safety and another top thing on recruit, as I said, I think he'll help out maybe getting some more interceptions. I'm sorry, I, I don't know too much about him right now. So, anyway. On offense, we still don't know who's going to be the starting quarterback, which still surprises me somewhat. I mean, I thought at the last season, we would have a defender starting quarterback, not just a quarterback roulette kind of thing, but who knows? Maybe this is just for the um, non-conference games. Maybe we're going to get into conference play. We'll have a a guaranteed start for each game. Well, then, uh, game time decision kind of things. But in all likelihood, as most analysts are thinking, and so do I, it's going to be um, Patrick Mahomes, who really showed up at the end of last season and showcased what he can do. So, here's hoping that we don't turn about over too much. And of course, we still have our running backs coming back. Justin Stalkin, DeAndre Washington, Quinton Wright. So, we still have a great backfield who are more experienced now. And we might be able to use that to more advantage to become more of a dual threat team than just a passing team. Which is something I've always want, worked on. And we still have several 20 receivers, Jakeen Grant, Wetchner Davis, Ian Shallow, and Devin Lauderdale. Especially Jakeen Grant. Jakeen Grant is going to be one of our biggest receivers this season. He is going to be a big man. So, hopefully nothing bad happens to him at all. This is no injuries, no nothing. Well, the rest may be good, but he's a big time senior. We need to have him out there all the time. In our tight end, we have freshmen, really. We have no experienced tight end, so how well our tight ends would do Evan McHugh and Preston Scaife? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't see them in the top 300, and I don't think they're a four-star recruit either. They're probably a lower three-star recruit. I haven't been bothered to really check too much. But still, some tight ends are better than no tight ends. And who knows? Maybe they'll surprise everyone. That's what always happens, usually. And that's about it, really, for this game. For we have to also consider the fact that Sam Houston State is one of the better FCS teams. This is not a team we should take lightly or treat as if they're a, let's see, grambling or a um, Stephen F. Austin. I mean, these are basically teams on the team on the level of a North Dakota State University. So don't treat them as an FCS team. Don't treat them as that. Showcase that. Yes, we're strong. Yes, we're tough. And we're gonna play you like an FPS team. For well, these FCS teams have been coming up recently and beating some pretty tough teams, so these games have becoming less and less gimme, especially with the higher ranked FCS teams, so just because of FCS does not mean we shouldn't play extremely well just playing ball, and don't tone it over. I'm really tired of every season we do in the past few years, it's just been toning the ball over and penalties and not blocking a one. Can we do it this season? I believe we can, but we gotta win this game and win it definitively. We can't get to a dog fight with Sam Houston State. They are a good team, but I believe we are a better team than them. So my prediction for the final score in this game I think it's going to be 
48 to mm, 21, Texas Tech. Well then, and after the game, Vader Nation, guns up, Raider Powell, and Reckham Tech. And so begins the 2015 season.